shame. Yes, Amada. I think that it is time for me to also have a break from you. That's perfectly fine. Because you do not have And let's just leave things brother. as is. How about, this? How, this? how about this? How about this? Instead of a break, I bye, don't... JoJo. Instead of a There's break, a bitch, you're cut for life. I don't have time for this. Because you don't I'm respect sure. loyalty, you don't respect Oh, of friendship. course, that's loyalty. Yeah. You're all about loyalty and loyalty. friendship and all that. Senor. No, 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 How no, you no, doing? Don't, excuse me, can you put some of that oil on my friend's no, sexy thighs? <laughs> no, I'm good. With all the running around that I've been doing, I haven't had a chance to breathe. I'm always traveling, and in fact, that's how Shay and I met. We met in a music video last year when I was in Atlanta, and me and Shay just kind of hit it off. I, honestly, I needed, I needed this too. I've been working so much. I'm and so it, proud of you. I've been seeing thank it. Thank you. There's a lot of people jealous of you, though. Tell me about it. What's up with you and Bobby? I blocked him off my social media. I seen that. <laughs> yes, because Bobby, to my understanding, is a little messy. I decided that I didn't want to deal with Bobby's messy ways, so I just blocked him off social media. When he found out, he told the whole world, then called my music tired. He deleted the comments and then gave me some half-ass apology, but I didn't forget about that, though. That was wrong. I blocked him off my social media, not like out of my life. But he did mention when I seen him that JoJo has talked negatively about you to him. If JoJo, according to other people, has ever spoken badly of me, until I hear it for myself out of her mouth, then that's it because she's really proven her friendship to me. I don't know why Amada has on blinders when it comes to this broad JoJo. She broke the girl code with me, and I know she'll do it again. She even accused her best friend Amada of messing around with her boyfriend, but you sitting on the phone with me for an hour complaining, won't you call your bestie bestie? Recently, some girl named Jessie Wow, woo, Ooh. woo, I don't know, Jessie. This girl had made a comment that I was trying to holler at her man. She apparently started talking and then JoJo trying to make the peace. She set us up together to discuss it. She got a little disrespectful with JoJo. You know that JoJo, she has a little temper. She threw a drink, the other girl threw a drink. And then, what she do? This little bitch got a glass bottle and she threw it at me. I would've came for her head. That's just uncalled for. It you, really was you, not. You going overboard with this. Life has a funny way of working because I know in my heart and my spirit that we shall meet again. Well, I've been hearing rumors that JoJo and pleasure have been the thing. Honestly, I think that you and JoJo arguing about pleasure. It's not about pleasure. Look at my position. I'm going to her house. We going to party together. Then all of a sudden, you get distant. Then I hear from the streets, you messing around with my ex. I really considered this bitch my friend. JoJo, Amada, and I, we went to several events together. But then she stopped answering my calls and my text messages. All of a sudden, I found out she's with my ex dude. Whole move. They're oh. just talking. From no, what I know, they dating. I asked her, she never told me that, and she would tell me the truth. I can understand how you feel some type of way. So if she apologizes to you or gets an understanding about that situation, do you think we can move forward from it? I would like you to be there. I want you to have an opinion on wrong and right. You want me to be the judge? Goddamn right, Judge <laughs> Judy in the building. Try this. Listen, her mom cooks the best food, I swear. Oh my god. It's good? Super good. Yes. But what's up with you guys? We're just taking things slow and we're figuring things out. Listen, it's never it's never good to get involved. However, you better be nice to my friend. You feel some kind of way about anything, you can address me. Good. Yeah. With that being said, let me bring more empanadas. Oh, God. Shay! Hi! Oh, oh my God, I'm so glad you made it! Oh, with your booty, I like that, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. How you Thank doing? You. you look nice. What's happening? What's up? Me and the guys are still trying to work things out in Pretty Ricky. And then this show up with Shay? This is ridiculous. 
Y'all look so stupid, especially you. Guys, can you please give us a second just to have a moment with the girls? Yeah. Pleasure. I really want to see Shay and Jojo be cool again. But there's no way that this is gonna happen at Pleasure and Blue Star running their mouth. Last time we saw each other at the beach, yeah. we were discussing that you felt a type of way because of JoJo, right? You said that we were all friends. And I said, I can't be friends with a bitch that's pulling whole moves. Be all y'all That's my man. So you are pulling the whole moves. to my mom's tasting, hoping that they could squash their beef. Instead of squashing the beef, they were just throwing it. How dare you throw my mom's empanadas? And for what? For pleasure. Ay, por favor. Guys! you want cheeseburger away, ho? Come on, what? Can we, can we just no, talk? she here. said they around and that's her man. I expect from pleasure. He's a whole ass But you was around us, Amada. You was around us. You even told me she, she wasn't she, with him like that. She, she, now all of a sudden, what? Issue. With these you, hands. Oh, you have a couple of moves over there, you know what I'm saying? So you do your thing. Listen, yeah. don't sleep now. You know, okay, I know I'm a little bit rusty, you. but I'm working. I'm rising above the bullet. Like, I almost had to put my hands on somebody the other day. Wait, it really what? took about it. Yeah, Bobby is on some messy. Bobby was talking all this about me. According to him, I'm jealous of him. I want to be him. No, bitch, you want to be me. As if that wasn't enough, lately things have been really weird with JoJo. She hasn't been talking to me. Like, I don't know what is going on. And now, I see them hanging out, and all of a sudden, you guys are best friends, and you're not talking to me. What the I'm really hoping that JoJo and I can hang out in New York for the VMA this week, but since we spoke in my house, JoJo hasn't really been talking to me. I'm really trying to be here for this girl. Like, friends don't do that. Hey, y'all. Hi. Hey, hey. Shay. What y'all talking about? JoJo. No, bitch. The Angry Bird. No, Bobby. Bobby? Yes. Bobby's been messy with Prince, and he's been messy as with me. But moving down to my friend JoJo. It's not your friend. Shay can really be negative sometimes, especially about JoJo. It's part of a bigger conversation that we need to have. Just because we're going through something right now doesn't mean she's not my friend. Going through something and somebody that you claim to be your BFF talking bad about you, I don't understand how you don't see through that. I've known JoJo for 10 years, and she was talking about me to Bobby. So it's three individuals standing here telling you the same thing. You're going to have to figure it out on your own. Time for us to talk to you, Shay. Me? So can you guys give me a second, please? Oh, she's like, No, 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 go teach him some choreographies. Bye, y'all. I just can't get over how disrespectful Shay was to JoJo. JoJo has always had my back. And after our conversation the other night, you can't be with the devil and with Jesus. You got to pick. I think that I have to hold myself to the same standard that I put JoJo on. I have to choose, too. I heard you talk about my friend. Mm. But then again, she did throw an empanada at you. Yeah, but I kind of got her back home. Her angry bird talking no, about how No, we're not doing is. that. We're not doing that. We're yeah, not doing I'm, that. I talk about we're that not, diaper booty bitch all the time. We're not going to do am. that. Because so you don't have my back, so I'm going to have my own back. Out of respect to JoJo, mm -hmm. I don't think that we should be, you know, hanging out or vibing like that. I already noticed where your loyalty was. It was over there with that angry bird. And that's fine with me. I didn't have a problem with that. I think Amada is completely out of her mind for trusting JoJo. You unfriend me because of this weak bitch who just talked bad about you to half of Miami. Bitch, you got a thing coming, and that's karma. You will see that that girl is not your friend, and that's all. Bye. No, you look good, friend. Thank you. You know me, I just want to, you do too. You look very nice. I just wanted to have, you know, a nice festive night. I'm trying to be positive. I don't want anything oh. negative to interrupt me. Well, you know JoJo's coming tonight, allegedly, supposedly. For what? She was invited by Amada. 
Wait, so she didn't tell you? Why would my sister, my friend, invite the enemy, the devil here when I'm here? How somebody just had the devil, bitch? I can't figure out why my sister would even invite this bitch JoJo to her single release, put me in that position to be around somebody I do not want to be around. And on top of that, why are you even trying to associate yourself with this bitch in the first place? Please, I can't believe Amada. I got, oh, I got some words Where's for Amada. I don't know, but she better bring that ass, because she got a lot of explaining to do. Woo! This Miami Heat got me feeling a little flush. Beautiful. I love Hi, you. Thank you for coming. Of course, thank you for having me. Amada, Bobby just told me that you invited JoJo here. And you're supposed to be my sister, and you already know the beef I got with her. I know. We don't get along at all, so why would you? Is this true, first of all? I didn't want to tell you because okay. I didn't want to get you upset. And of course I'm upset. And I was and out at the event through mother Bobby. I'm trying still to figure out how to do How to be loyal to your friend who's been loyal to you. Bitch, you I know. Support, I support everything you do. I, I don't understand what your loyalty is. You invited somebody that don't like me that I don't this with. This is her single and brother. Chill, bro. Brother, chill. Yeah, 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 brother, chill. Yeah, 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 I'm just saying it's not the place for that. My friend violated our friendship. She ain't even tell me she's been talking to this bitch. Cause this is how you act. I really feel like Shay is doing the most right now. Yes, I get how JoJo did a lot of to you, she did it to me too. But I'm just trying to move forward and move past it. Maybe I'm a better friend. I don't know. I don't know what. I going. have proven my friendship to you. Oh, by invite, I have I, proven you your friendship. You invited the devil in the building, okay. bitch. You're I, gonna lose a real friend because I would have never did that to you, sister. Don't talk to me. Oh, you about to don't cry, babe. No, because she ain't got no loyalty. Don't feel that way, babe. Oh, you about to make me cry. I'm yeah. tired of being more of a friend of bitches than they are to me. I'm done. I swear I am. I love her. She's my sister, but I cannot do this right now. Pictures. What's happening? Now she want to have a kumbaya moment. I guarantee they have any type of anything, she going to wish she never met me. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. My event. Uh, All about me. Listen, I understand your side. Only thing I'm saying is we family. And us as a family can take care of this at home. You got to stay out of it, bro. Because it's going to put you in a position where you got to choose between your sister and your girl. And I'm trying not to put you in the middle of that. Jesus, not Let me tell you something. Even among siblings, people have their moments. But I, know, I love her. She's going to be fine. What's up, sis? Hi, brother. What's up, baby? Are you good? Hi, sister. Don't try to be funny. Oh, I'm not. Stop it. Give us a minute, brother. Yeah, y'all a minute, but y'all keep it together now. Basically, I wanted to have a conversation with you. I haven't talked to you because you definitely hurt my feelings. You put me in a situation I didn't want to be in. With Joe. I would never, ever bring you around somebody you don't care for. You're a grown-ass woman. I'm not telling you who to be friends with. But I will tell you this. If you go back to try to rekindle a friendship with her, I know that's going to affect us. I never said that I was trying to be her friend. I don't know, because what I'm hearing in the streets is like you're telling people, oh, I miss her. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I miss the friendship that we have. Nice. I'm not saying that I want to be her friend. Watch this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to sit on top of it. You my sister, man. That's my, that's my lady. Man. I don't Jojo and Shay have had this spa day planned out for ages. But now I feel like I wish I could just vent about MJ without having his sister here. Lord knows I needed this day and it's just, it's been a lot going on lately, so. So bitch, get to talking. Well. What do y'all got going on? Long story short, 
The other day, I went to have lunch with Prima Donna, but she never mentioned that she had invited somebody else. MJ's ex-girlfriend. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. That. She invited MJ's ex and didn't even tell you? Right. She it tells me all these things about MJ and, and his past, his music, his finances and all. So after all that happened, MJ and I had a really big fight and basically broke up. And we're now like on a break. See, I've heard this story, but I heard it from oh, my okay. brother. He popped up at my house the other day. I've never seen him like this before. I've never seen him this hurt. My question to you is how is it you let this girl from 10 years ago say some to you about your current relationship and now all of a sudden her word is bond, her word is golden, this complete stranger can just come in and tell you something? When she said certain things, it just sounded too familiar to certain situations you're doing. that we're dealing with. But guess what? That's your business and his business. It's not her place to continue to run her mouth about my brother to you. I don't see how that was acceptable for you not to say nothing and just sit there. You know what? Everybody's always telling me what to do with my life, what to do with my career, what to do with my friendships, what to do with my father, what to do with my mother, with everybody. I'm just over everybody telling me what the to do in my life. Everybody's all up in my business. You're real hype right, right I now. Like You're very, friend. very hype right I'm sorry, right I now. came to have a relaxation okay, moment. Okay, but I and just asked a simple question and you it. getting all irate. Right. I just that's a lot, though. I would have been like shook, if, bitch. If, if I didn't was know, being your brother and would... this bitch from 10 years ago come in talking yeah, and interrupt time, their relationship, but at the same you wouldn't time, feel no type no, of way that she wanted to leave. First of all, I just need more. I still love him. I still care about him. But at the same time, bills and life, is I need consistency. I think it's just really, really shallow of her to all of a sudden feel that MJ's not good enough because he doesn't have the bag. My brother never been rich and he never misrepresented who he is or who he was. So this makes no sense to me. The only way that makes sense to me is Amada's looking for a way out. He's a struggling artist, and sometimes he has his high moments, he has his lows, sometimes, you know, everybody goes through their ups and downs. Okay, cool. It's a lot of stuff that my brother pushed to the side and stopped doing for you. No, I don't feel that. It's because his options were to focus on your career versus focusing on his career. And he chose to do? Yeah, yeah, he chose to do okay, that, and I chose. told him he should wake he up chose. and choose to do his own and thing. I, and I have told him to wake up and do his own thing but as well. I don't know what's going on. Exactly. I don't because so you don't you tell me nothing. We not close nothing no like that. Without no having proof, you're involving yourself even more. Because with you that. too. How dare Shay say that it's my fault that MJ's career isn't popping? MJ is a grown ass man and he chose to focus on supporting me. Cause Your he's brother. over here trying to keep hope alive. He thinks that it's- But so that's that my relationship with him. Yeah, it has nothing to do, do with you. Me. I just don't want to see my brother hurt I don't even know no why I'm discussing this with you. Because it's my brother and he came to me to talk okay, about that's it. Okay, well then you need to continue to talk to your brother. I will, but I'm here and I'm talking to you. Shame. Yes, Amada. I think that it is time for me to also have a break from you. That's perfectly fine, because you do not have And to let's just leave things brother. as is. How There's about this? Happy How about right this? Now. Instead of a break, I bye, JoJo. Instead of a There's break, a bitch, you're cut right for now. life. I don't have time Man. for this, because you don't I'm respect sure. loyalty. You don't respect Oh, of course, friends. that's loyalty. Yeah. You're all about loyalty and friendship and all that. Do what you're whatever. supposed to do. Okay. Leave my brother alone. You, you know, don't. as a matter of fact, I'll do whatever the yeah. it is that I want to do with you your brother and do up. with him whenever it the I want to do. Bye. 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 Julian is always trying to make the peace. So he wants me to sit down and talk to Lache. Mira, I don't have a problem. You got a problem with me? Let's figure it out and squash it right here. I'm not gonna get up and walk away, and I don't want you to get up and walk away. I want us to get everything out so we can move forward in life. <clears throat> and I know about your brother, but I don't know about you and I. So let me know, what is the problem? The reason I feel our friendship went rocky because of the subliminal shots you would throw on social media. I don't do subliminal shots on social media. After MJ did an interview with Tasha K. Oh. This was the reason why our friendship fell apart? Some Instagram social media comments that was said because I said that she has 
products, but she said, you know, her products make you take a Now you remember. Yes, I did talk because I thought that you had something to do with it because MJ doesn't even move like that. MJ wanted to speak his truth because that's the thing. You didn't see MJ in his depressed state, Amada. You didn't see what I had to see. What the You didn't see me. You didn't see me when I was depressed while MJ was named and his f***ing rubbing his head. He didn't deserve for you to go and smash somebody. You're over here defending your brother without even knowing what happened. So where do you want to What are we doing? My thing is, my thing is, by the time Alan and I got together, I was no longer with MJ. Because you weren't with him. No, I didn't smash him. I just did him and I got pregnant with twins. And we're still and together. I'm explaining you that's why my brother feels the way he feels. You don't want to take accountability that is completely. I'm going to be for what? I'm going to be And you better tell Alan before you smash his home. Let me tell you something. I'll warn him. Keep Alan's name. I'll warn him. What the you going to do? You know what? I should have listened to your mother when your mother told me not to with you. That's the truth. My mama told you not to your mother told me that you were envious of me. And your mama said, 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 Sounds good to me. Go ahead. Goodbye. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm walking the Crazy bitch. Now, Amada, like, there are some discrepancies in the timeline. Like, how did you end up with Alan? I met Alan through MJ. That's how the relationship came about. I mean, everybody about. just seen what just came on here, right? Because yeah, she was yeah. just in green screen saying she met him in Dominican Republic through real estate. You never mentioned MJ at all. That's not what you said. But it's I how you have no empathy I'm for MJ. No, it's not that I don't. You I'm don't. clarifying it and I'm saying it and I said it. it You're clarifying have, it, it now, but from bad, what we just watched, it would have been bad if I, I, if I would have denied it. Oh, that's a lie. No, I, yes, I did. I said it. But at that moment, I didn't feel like I had to say anything. So why did you call her the whole hip hop? The same reason she talked about my brand and business. You I admit. said you had products. That's the most I said. You, you had You products. think that don't bother me? What you mean? But that, okay, but okay, you got music, bitch. What? Like, what if I said that? That well, wouldn't hurt you. Your product that do wouldn't make hurt you. Go to the no, she said a product. It's product. She said ass products, and then she on no, here saying I ain't got nothing. No, I said you have products. Go. Products like it I makes you. Detox makes you take a. My detox actually removes toxins from your body, bitch. It helps you release, bitch. Oh what you God. need okay, to detox well, you know right I'm, now, cause I'm you okay, tripping. I'm okay with my music. My music has taken no, me a long way. Don't talk about my brand, and I won't talk about yours. That hurt. So this is what I want to say. Tone and delivery, bitch. Tone and mother. Tone delivery. and mother. Delivery. I hate the fact we're grown as women, and we are talking about who blocked who, who said what on you what social media. Me first. I get that part, but we're talking about like. We're, Amada. I think that we're we bigger than this. We need to move forward. That's what I'm saying. I think that we're bigger than this. Right, but that's the whole reason we're here to talk this out. Yes, and that's but what I, I'm saying. But I'm not gonna not speak my mind. No, I'm just you letting you mind. know I spoke my mind. I told you how I was hurt, where the hurt came from. I'm trying to explain that to you. And I hear you. Who oh, child? Oh, what they gonna do? right now? What I Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seeing Shay and MJ was definitely not something I was expecting on this trip. The last time I saw Shay and MJ, things weren't necessarily terrible, but they weren't good either. It's a very tough situation to deal with. Hi, Spice. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Okay. Hi, pretty. I'm glad you can make it. So what's going on? What did I miss? Did I miss anything? It seems like it's some negative energy up in here. What's up, champ? What's up, fresh champ? How you doing, man? MJ, pleasure. Okay, I like that. What's up? Appreciate that, man. Don't worry, I got your back. Who's the girl that walk in? That's that shit. Who invited them? You're the co-host. I don't know who invited her and her brother. That's my ex one, you know Oh, boy, what's wrong? Amada. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, oh, oh. The... Yeah. Oh, damn, you ain't put the twins in them? Nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> she snuck behind my back, man, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, ooh. Yeah, man, it happened, it was cool. Ooh, what? Yeah. Seeing the model, awkward. It's an awkward moment. You know, we both in Miami. We don't really cross paths, but we're here in Jamaica. What do we do? How do we move forward? Who's gonna talk first? I'm not sure. I wish it nothing but the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
How you feel about seeing your ex? You still love him? No. I saw her. She mad. Are you miss him? I can feel the, <laughs> I can feel no. the mad energy. Like, no. she's very mad. Why is she not, not mad? Like, ugh, why are you here? She loves him. No, I don't. I, I really don't. I don't know what's going on, so I don't know how to, like... I'm just finding out. I'm yeah, just, what's I going know. on about it, though? Dated my brother, mm -hmm. and she has two kids by his friend. Wait, huh? Like More his best so. friend? I'm not the fly. No, they're not best friends. He introduced her. Yeah, his homeboy, he introduced her to him. And they started and now they got two kids. I knew that Amara had two beautiful babies, but I didn't know those were MJ's friends babies. This is all news to me, and I don't want Amara to think that I invited Shay to start any because that definitely wasn't my intention. Also, Shay, I didn't give you a plus one on this trip. That's her little brother, and you know, at the end of the day, she feels that she has to defend him and be well, there. You and were cool, right, at one point? At one point, we were cool, but I just feel like, you know, he's a grown ass man. He's like 40 years old. At this point, I'll never say that's cool if she don't come out with no negative no, energy and no drama. Well, you see, nothing, you see like, him all the way over here. Yeah. Everybody's doing their own thing. That's not coming with no vibes. Yeah. yeah, no positive energy. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Everything's yeah, good. Man, my trophy though. That's a stolen trophy. It's not a stolen trophy. Shit, that's a stolen trophy. Trick, whatever. That belongs. I'm gonna let you just look at that right there. So after field day, I, I tell Shay, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody I need you to sit down and talk to. I need, I need to have a word with both of y'all, because I'm from a city where we learn how to stick together. Listen, when I first met you, I only knew one person who knew you, Amada. Y'all were really friends. I looked at it as if she was my, I don't have any sisters. Right. So when my brother fell in love with her and they were together, I started treating her as if she was a sister I never had. Right. So it bothers the out of me that we even going through this Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, Amada. Since I'm cool with sharing Amada, there's a such thing as a simple misunderstanding, and I believe that's what's occurring. So hopefully I can get them together and squash all this nonsense. I wanna, I wanna clarify something. It's really unfortunate that last night it ended that way because I understand how you thought that maybe I had something to do with that, but I promise you, Vice reacted the way that she reacted based on her. It had nothing to do with me telling her to do it. It had nothing to do with me talking to her about you in any negative way. It had nothing to do with that. And I feel like we're too grown. If we have something to say to each other, we could just discuss it. We don't have to literally go fighting or do none of that stuff. I would never fight you. I, I never, would never put I my hands on you. Wait, I on. have love for you. So no do I. And I've been talking some because you hurt my feelings. And I spoke a lot of I will right, tell you I that much. I've been telling you that. I've been talking. I said a lot of about you. That's bitch. right. I said a lot Which, by the way, let me, let, me t let me tell you something about that. Mira, sometimes in life, things happen a certain type of way, and, and I can't take it back. You are MJ's sister. You're being protective of him because of the things that occurred. And I get that part. But between you and I, I we don't really got no issues. I never, we don't. This is the that I want to get off my chest and let it go. Whatever happened with you and Ellen is going on with you and Ellen. That hurt not only MJ, but it hurt my family because he, MJ was hurt. And I think that you just didn't see that because you were doing, minding your business, doing your own thing. Right. But it hurt. So I'm like, man, out of everybody, and I still wanted to be cool with you, so I'm right. like, watch him. Him. And uh, it's not that I, I have anything against Alan. I don't yeah. know him. I want to clarify that too. When I got involved with Alan, I was no longer in a relationship or with your brother. That's true. I will agree with you with that. But it doesn't make it right. And I'm not saying it makes it right. Now, I get it. Now. But we are both in different spaces, different places in life right now. You know what I'm saying? We literally just had children. What the f are we arguing or talking about? This petty ass so irrelevant. Right. This makes me feel very good. Me too. It makes me, it just released a lot off my back. Right. You know? I miss you. I have a smile on my face because I've been wanting to talk to her for a while. Me too. I talked a whole lot of <laughs> So did I. I said a lot of <laughs> I really didn't mean it, mean it. I just said it because I was mad. She's a tramp. She's a horse. She played my I was a <laughs> that bitch. I was a <laughs> for that bitch. But I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Yeah. We're good. We're yeah. good. And now, oh, by the way, now is our duty because we have been sprinkled with the spirit of healing. It is our duty now to try to bring people together and end the war. Can we start now with a nub? With a nub hug? Come on, right now. Nub hug, yeah, see? I'm sorry, sir.
Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right. Cheer it.